What is a prism? Well, first we have to answer the question, what is a polyhedron? This is definitely not a polyhedron. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional figure with flat faces. Now, one of these shapes is not a polyhedron. Which one is not comprised of all flat faces? Well, if you chose the cone, you are correct. That is not a polyhedron. Now, prisms are a type of polyhedron. So what exactly is a prism? Well, a prism is a three-dimensional figure as well. And this is the important part. It has two congruent bases that are parallel. Two congruent bases that are parallel. In fact, prisms get their name from their bases. So in this first example, if you look at the base, it's a triangle. And we have two of them that are parallel and congruent. That's a triangular prism. This next shape, of course, gets its name from its base, which is a hexagon. And it has two hexagonal bases, which are congruent and parallel. A cube has a square base. A pentagonal prism has a pentagon-shaped base. And, of course, a rectangular prism has a base that is rectangular in shape. So which one of these would not be a prism? Which one of these would not be a prism? Which one doesn't have two congruent bases that are parallel? Well, if you chose the pyramid, you are correct. It is not a prism. So what are faces, edges, and vertices on a prism? Let's look at the definitions. Face. Well, the face is the, f that's the flat surfaces of a three-dimensional figure. So this one has actually six faces, this rectangular prism. The edges are where the faces meet. And the vertex, or the vertices, are where three edges meet. Now, how many faces would a cube have? So if you look at a cube, how many faces would it have? It would have six different faces. Let's take a look at this triangular prism. How many faces would it have? Take a minute and look at it and count up how many faces you think it would have. Well, let's see if you're right. If you said five, you're correct. It has a top and a bottom, and it has three sides. Let's do edges next. See if you can count how many edges there are on this triangular prism. Count the number of edges. So we've got three on the top. Count up the edges. Let me erase that here. All right, let's see if you got it. There are actually nine edges on this triangular prism. What about vertices? And the, vertices, the vertex are where three edges meet. Here, I'll circle one. See if you can count up how many vertices there are. Well, if you said there are six, you are correct. There are six vertices in this triangular prism. How many faces do you see on this polyhedron? Count up the faces. Well, if you said five, you're correct. It has one base and then it has four sides. There are five faces for this polyhedron. How many edges does this polyhedron have? Count up the edges. So how many edges do you see? Well, you've got three there, three on the other side, and three here for a total of nine edges. How many vertices do you see in this polyhedron? Well, there's one here. Actually, there's a total of six on this side, six on the other side. There would be 12 vertices in this polyhedron. What would be the name of this polyhedron? Now, I'll give you a hint. Look at the base. Count up the sides in the base. Looks like there are six sides in the base. This would actually be a hexagonal prism. Is this polyhedron a prism? What do you think? Yes or no? Is this polyhedron a prism? Well, the answer would be no, because a prism has two congruent bases that are parallel, and this just has one base. True or false? All polyhedrons are prisms. Are all polyhedrons prisms? Well, the answer, of course, is false. In fact, 
This is a polyhedron right here, and it's made up of flat faces. But is it a prism? No. Not all polyhedrons are prisms. Let's do our last question. All prisms are polyhedrons. Are all prisms polyhedrons? Well, the answer to that is actually true. All prisms are polyhedrons. And that's all there is to it. That's what prisms and polyhedrons are.